It is the 30th of January, and this is the first cross-stitching I've done since before I got that little pup over there. And she is snoozing in her crate right now. She's just settling in. I just put her down for a nap. She's got her snuggle puppy that has a nice little heartbeat in it, and she just loves it. So yeah, she's probably going to take a two-hour nap. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, and I'm going to do a little stitching, but that whole issue, uh, if you remember in my last vlog, I was mentioning about my finger hurting, and I don't know what's going on with it, but I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just, you can see there's like a, a bump on my knuckle up here. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to say it's arthritis, but I don't know. It came on really acutely, and where it hurts is the pad of my finger when I stitch. It just kind of hurts this whole area, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go in about a week, and they're going to probably take an x-ray of it and see if it's anything, or if they're just going to say it's arthritis, and that's that. But, I mean, I have arthritis in my other joints, and I kind of know what that feels like. This just feels a little bit different. So, I don't know. We'll see. I guess I should say that, uh, yeah, welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, go ahead and check last month's vlog, January 2024, to get all caught up on as to um, how I came about having a puppy and how I didn't think I was going to have any stitching time for the foreseeable future and really this is like I said the first time she's been here she's she's going to be 11 weeks old tomorrow and she's been with us just a little over a week about a week and a half um yeah here's my stitching I decided just to grab this Santa right here and this is kind of in just easy to pick up so yes like I said it is January 30th today so we're just going to consider this the beginning of my February vlog and maybe you'll see it at the end of February, and maybe it won't be until the end of March, depending on what I have to show you and how much stitching I get done. So, like I said, welcome to my channel. My name's Christine, and welcome to my February 2024 stitching vlog. Let's hope for the best. All right. I guess I should probably tell you that the Santa I'm working on is the Hollyberry Santa. It is uh, one of the Northwoods Santas from Mill Hill, and it is from the start of their series back in 1999. So I've already stitched the Juniper Santa, and, uh, and I'm working on Hollyberry's Santa, and then next I'll do Pine Tree Santa. And it is the first of their uh, series of releasing three Santas a year. So. Um, I'm just going to slow, slowly work on them. Uh, if you're new, I'm going to just slowly work on them over the years until I get them all done. And I thought I would start with the first three. So they're just kind of something I have going in the background and we'll always kind of have one going. But I did want to say that just in case you're visiting me for the first time. That is the Santa that I'm working on. And yeah, I really enjoyed the first one. Sorry about all that glare. Got that late afternoon sun coming in. All right, so, okay, that's all I wanted to say. Just in case you were wondering what I'm stitching, that would be it, and it's on the perforated paper. Well, good morning, Floss Tube. Today is February 7th, and I'm just sitting outside because my pup loves, loves, loves to be out in the yard, just rummaging around and just learning about her world. So, I got my coffee, Starbucks Dark Roast. And I have um, an update on my finger. So I went to the doctor, and I'll just let you look at my puppy there while, while I'm chatting. I went to the doctor for my finger, and she did not say that it was arthritis, like I thought. So that's good news. Um, but she did say I have something called synovitis, which is the inflammation of the synovial fluid or the synovial membrane. So I guess that's good news because um, there's hope that maybe I can fix it and start stitching again. But good news is, is that whatever it is that's wrong with my finger, it hurts to stitch, but it doesn't hurt to sew. So I've been working on my little felt guy here, my felt panda. So I should save this for my felt tube videos, but I don't know when I'll make one of those again. So here you get to see my cute little Valentine felt panda that I've been working on because yes, it doesn't hurt to do the sewing method, only the stitching, stitching method. Um, and no, I'm not gonna start stitching in hand because I just can't do that. Um, I can 
I can stitch this in hand, but I can't do cross stitching in hand. I never could get my stitches to look nice doing that way. So good news. I'm just sitting out here working on this little guy and I should have him done by Valentine's Day. So that's exciting. And then maybe I'll start working on the St. Patrick's Day Panda. This is the 2023 series. So last year's series from Mary Stockings. You can get them uh, if they're still available. They were limited, limited time, like a limited edition. And this year they have uh, koala bears and and angels so yeah if you're interested in that um, but yeah I'm sorry I just don't have much stitching to show you I did work a little bit on my Santa but just so very little that it's not even worth showing so I'll give an update on that when I have time but I'm gonna go work on that and enjoy it actually feels like the Sun is is nice and warm so this wonderful February morning uh, it's actually kind of nice sitting out here so on that note, I'm going to go sew, and uh, I'll give you a check-in when I have uh, maybe some improvement in my finger and can actually start stitching again. Because remember, I had all those plans to get all those dimensions whips done this year. Um, yeah, we'll see. With uh, we'll, we'll see where that goes. <laughs> Good morning. It is February 14th, so it is Valentine's Day today, and I am out here in a balmy 27 degrees, drinking my coffee because this is the best place for my little pup because she can get uh, all of her sniffs and I don't have to worry about her having a potty accident in my house. So I kind of think of it as, you know, something similar to the polar plunge, maybe not quite that drastic, but still, if you would have told me a month ago that I'd be having my morning coffee outside in February every morning, I wouldn't have believed you. So anyway, yes, I am going to talk about stitching, but not cross stitching. I've done no cross stitching since we last met. So once again, all I have to show you is, so I have this little box filled with my little felt uh, pandas from Mary Stockings because I carry this around the house and whenever I have a chance to put a few stitches in, um, this is what I do. So I just wanted to show you that it's very appropriate. I just recently finished Boy, can you see that? I don't know with the sun right now. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me, let me see, hold on. I think you can see it okay. Um, I had my sunglasses on and my screen is really dark. I think it's showing up okay. But he turned out just adorably and I have been starting to work on the March one. So I'll go ahead and show you this. Um, yeah, I'll probably upload this video as a felt tube or maybe I'll upload it as felt tube and mix it in with my felt floss tube as well um, but yeah he's just so cute okay so let's see here let me get organized here and put this away okay so this is the one I'm working on for March and it is called um, Patty Panda and so far I've gotten done on him I've uh, got his uh, little belly stitched on and his face is done. And I think his little paws are over here too. Yes, I can't lose those. His little paws are ready to go. And then I'm working on the hat and I think all that needs to be left on this is the sequins. I need to put some gold sequins and some little green ones around the bottom there and then uh, stitch the brim on. And then these are what the sequins look like. So maybe I'll try to finish him up today uh, let's see then um, also because I haven't really showed you any felt things in a while I did so this this little box I have here is um, I believe I got these at the Dollar Tree thanks thanks to my friend Morgan shout out to Miss T and Stitches I'm pretty sure that's where we got them yeah is that right Morgan I think so yeah anyway they're great for these little on-the-go projects so just what I have in here is my uh, scissors here and I, I I've been trying to use these little clippy scissors lately and I really like them. They pop off and they just have this little snip snip. They're like just two razor blades that kind of snap together. So I do like to use that. Uh, these are just where a little bag of where I'm keeping sort of my leftover pieces because Mary Stockings really is generous with their felt and they give you a lot of nice extra pieces. So I save those for future reference future use and then uh, I keep these because uh, they are much easier to use than pinning pieces together when you need to hold them just kind of like this right here 
And I don't usually have to use pins very often, but when you do need to help, uh, keep some pieces together, and then I just have a tiny little bag of stuffing in here, which I need to refill pretty often, so I probably should get a bigger one. And then this is just my cording drill so that I can make my little uh, hanging hangers. So yeah, that's it. It's kind of just a little, it's like a project box, if you will. Okay, so uh, let me show you um, the other one I was working on. Okay, so way back in October, I believe it was, I started this uh, Halloween panda. And it was uh, during the time, I believe, when my mother-in-law, uh, she had a stroke at the very end of September and was in the hospital for about five weeks and she was in rehab. And I remember that I brought this to the hospital and I started working on it. And so it always kind of reminds me of that, but I never finished it because then uh, shortly after that is when I got COVID and then I was in quarantine for a while and I did a whole bunch of, what did I work on? Oh yeah, I worked on the Halloween sign, the Halloween felt sign during the whole time I was uh, having COVID. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, I got that all done. So I never quite got back to this again, but uh, you can see I got the pieces cut out and I started a little bit here and there as I'm working on it. I'm in the middle of working on the face. So I'd like to try to get this one done as well. And you know what? I also finished the um, pumpkin spice. I think it was called the pumpkin spice panda. I finished that around last time too, and I don't think I ever showed that, and I never took a picture of it for Instagram, so I'll have to go get that. All right, I went ahead and put Pupster in her crate for a little nap, and um, why am I still outside? Well, it's actually starting to warm up, and it's kind of nice right now, so I just, and the lighting was good, so I thought that I would show you my cute, adorable pumpkin spice panda that I finished back in, gosh, this, this was in the fall sometime. And I never posted a picture, but look at that donut. That's just adorable. Has little French knots on it. A little pumpkin spice latte, I'm sure that is. And he's adorable. So, really cute. And I also forgot that I bought some new Mill Hills. I actually ordered these before I got my puppy. And I forgot that I, forgot that I had ordered them. And so these are from uh, a couple from the new series, the new Spring Bouquet. For 2024 and look at that one. Oh my gosh I feel like I might want to start this one today that'll be maybe a way I test my finger to see because I don't know I think I'm getting a little bored with the Christmas Santa that I'm working on right now so I need something with a little more color and I think this is it look at those little sprinkles and it's so cute so what is this this one's called ice cream sundae and I've stitched a lot of the food ones so this is definitely right up my alley. So these are all the other ones that came in the set. Looks like there's a mama hen. Oh, a vintage camera. I'm probably gonna end up getting that one at some point. Uh, the Papa Rooster, a painter's palette and floral bird cage. So I did buy the painter's palette as well, just because I love the colors in it. And I think that's just gonna be so fun to stitch and you know, because of my paint by numbers that I like to do. I figured that was appropriate. So I got those. And then, because I don't have enough horses in my cross stitch collection, I went ahead and got this new one of theirs that's called Icelandic Horses. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? So yeah, those are the three new Mill Hill kits I have. And yeah, I think I'm just going to dive into one of these a little bit later today if I have time. Maybe a Valentine's Day start? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this clip and um, go get some things done now that uh, puppy won't be underfoot. And I'll check in later with uh, hopefully uh, getting a new start on this and letting you know if my finger cooperates. Okay, talk to you later. Well, good morning, it is still February. It is Saturday, February 24th this morning, and I'm still drinking my coffee outside on most mornings that I can. My pup is actually starting to get a little more calm in the morning, surprisingly enough. She has her crazies at night, but in the morning she's pretty mellow, and she just kind of enjoys hanging out in the yard. And I can't remember what I've showed you and what I haven't showed you, but I have a finish. I don't think I showed you it. So here we go. If that lighting is good, I finished 
the hot fudge Sunday, is that what it's called? That I had started. Um, pardon all my little uh, band-aids and wounds on my fingers because my land shark is still, she still has her baby teeth, of course. I can't wait for her to lose those. Those things are sharp. And I'm, yes, still being uh, used as a chew toy on most days. But we're working on it. Um, anyway, isn't this adorable? Let me get better lighting on it here. Uh, I didn't do the beaded, hanging beaded chain yet, or the backing felt, but I did get all the stitching and beading done, and it took a while, because I just don't have much time these days. But I think it turned out so great. It was so fun. Is that lighting okay? Yes. Yeah, it just turned out so cute. I just love it. Um, other than that, um, I cannot remember also, just because I don't know if I'm coming or going, if I remembered, if I showed you that I finished my St. Patrick's Day um, Patty Panda. Did I show you that? I know I posted it on Instagram, but I can't remember if I showed it in the video or not. So there he is. He's adorable with his sparkly, his hat filled with sparkly gold coins. I love it. So cute. So, so cute. And as soon as I finished that, I could not wait to get started on the Easter Panda, which I haven't done much with yet. But I think in the last clip, I think I told you that I had, I don't know if I showed you this or not, but I said I was going to show you the um, uh, one that I did last fall. So if I showed you this, sorry, you'll just get to look at it again. I feel like I did show you. But um, yeah, did I? Maybe I did. Anyway, there he is again. <laughs> If, maybe I'll delete this um, if you did already see it. But yes, this was the pumpkin spice panda. I feel like I did show you this. But he is just so cute. Okay, so what do we have here? We have now Easter Panda. And this is how he's going to look. Just adorable. And let me get out the felt pieces. All I've done is cut the pieces out. I have not started doing any stitching yet. But notice there is a lot of satin stitching on this one. This is the only one where his feet are actually facing, you know, you can see like the bottom of his feet. So there's a lot of satin stitching there. But I'm actually starting to enjoy satin stitching. Um, yeah, I hated it at the beginning because I was really horrible at it. But I find that it is, as I get better at it, I enjoy doing it more. So here he is. And let me open it up and show you the little pieces that I've cut so far. Okay, so here I have all of the pieces for the panda cut out, and you got all these cute little feet there, and then the only sequins that it comes with is just the purple ones, and so the clear, few clear beads and a few of the purple sequins. So, oh, I have a puppy that just might want to jump up on here, so, oh, here she comes, okay. Stay down there, stay down there. Yeah, I do not want you knocking all my felt pieces because then say goodbye to them. Oh, she's going to jump. Okay, got to close it. Oh, okay. All right, pup. Okay, I'll be back. Well, no stitching because apparently I have a lap dog now. Yes. She almost doesn't fit on my lap anymore. What are you going to do when you don't fit on my lap anymore? My little freeloading land shark. Good morning, floss tube. Today is February 29th, so it is leap day. And this is going to be the last entry for my February vlog. And I'm sitting in the car right now uh, because I just got back from the vet because little Miss Mary over here had her last set of vaccinations, including rabies. So she's all good to go. We don't have to be on house arrest anymore. And yeah, I'm excited to be able to take her to uh on the green belt and stuff like that and so yeah but she's gonna be a little tired they trimmed her nails and yeah anyway uh, i just stopped and got myself a coffee and i'm gonna treat myself to a new start today a new weekday start and i've chosen this one right here because i'm so in the mood for easter colors so this is called sugar cookie house and i actually sorted the floss i think a year ago so that has already been done and I decided to go ahead and put in my first stitches today. So this is where we are with it. You can't tell because it's yellow on yellow, but I got a very little bit of a start. Small, very small start on this. And I might do just a little bit of stitching here in the car with my coffee and uh, 
blueberry scone. Well, little Miss Mary here takes a little bit of a nap because yeah, she was she's tuckered out. She had a little bit of a conjunctivitis going on in her eyes. And so I got some eye drops that I need to put in her eyes. And other than that, she weighs 29 pounds. She was 14 when I 14 pounds when I got her about almost six weeks ago, and now she's 29, so she's uh She's a hefty little pup now. Okay, so yes, I'm going to wrap up this vlog today. I know that this month, this vlog was very heavy on the puppy, but that's my life, and that uh, needed to be vlogged just because that's what I do for myself. Is I This is how I journal. I journal through my videos, and um, yeah, it's kind of, uh, it was, yeah, my life has pretty much been taken hostage by a puppy right now, and it's 24-7 puppy all the time. So, kind of hard to not talk about that when I'm doing a vlog. Uh, oh, I completely forgot to give you an update on my finger. My finger seems to be so much better. It still looks a little swollen, but it's so much better. Now, I haven't had a lot of time to stitch, so I haven't really tested the pain. But I can tell you that it feels um, just a little bit of stitching I've done. It doesn't hurt very much at all. I don't, I don't feel like it's completely 100% back to normal, but it definitely isn't like painful with every stitch. So I'm very hopeful that it's going to continue to get better. I think what helped was the ointment I was putting on it, the gel, the Voltaren gel. I think that's really what did it. Um, yeah, it did take about seven days to kick in, but yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> anyway, you don't need to be looking at my hands. Uh, yeah, they're in bad shape right now. Still completely being uh, chewed up by a puppy. I've got little puncture wounds and dry hands. And yeah, that's okay. She's worth it. She is um, a really, really, really cute dog, but she's got her trying moments. So I'm not going to talk any more about stitching. I'm just going to talk a little bit more about my first six weeks with the puppy, and it's not going to be long, but I just wanted to kind of talk about how it's been. Um, she has an Instagram page where I've been putting pictures, cute pictures, and little reels that I've made of her, but I did want to put it out there um, that it has not always been sunshine and roses with this little mutt. Uh, I would have to say she has been the most challenging puppy I have ever owned. And at about week four, I hit a pretty bad bout of the puppy blues, actually, which came completely unexpected. I mean, if you would have told me that I was going to have the puppy blues, you know, with a dog that I've wanted, like, for years and years and years and years. Um... Actually, let me just get you something more colorful to look at here. Um, yeah, so at about week four, I hit that stage of, um, it's the what the bleep was I thinking phase, the overwhelm, a little bit of regret, the will I ever have a life of my own, the puppy all the time, and it had a lot to do with sleep deprivation. I was really just at my wit's end, and there were tears. There were tears for a few days there where I was just like, I don't think I can do this. But, you know, thanks to the internet and I got onto some puppy support groups. I know, I almost am embarrassed to even admit that, but I got onto some puppy support groups and realized that, yes, this is just a short phase. It'll go, it'll, it'll go away. It'll all be worth it. And yes, it's already so much better. I've made some changes. I have her on a schedule. She's getting lots of naps during the day. I'm starting to get a little bit of my life back and, you know, um, I'm just patiently waiting for her to lose her baby teeth because those things are sharp. And my vet said any day now she was going to start losing them. So good riddance to those. And she definitely has her really cuddly moments like you've seen where she sits on my lap in the morning and she's really cuddly. But she has like this terrible witching hour in the evening. I have never experienced that with any puppy I have ever had before. But I can see a, like a look in her eye and it changes. And then she literally becomes a demon dog I think possessed by Satan himself because she all of a sudden can't listen to any commands she ate she goes and grabs everything that she's not supposed to have she chews everything she completely attacks me I have to have distance between her and me because she wants to eat my shoes that are that are on my feet 
Uh, and if I tell her no, she grabs my hands, she grabs my sleeve, she starts tugging really hard. I tell her no, she backs up, she barks at me like a teenager barking back. And then my husband has to usually intervene and she's a little more scared of his voice when he says no, but then now she just turns on him too and <laughs> wants to bark and snap. And I, it's crazy. It is crazy. She just becomes like a, almost like a dog on rabies with rabies or something, but yeah so that happens in the evenings and it is just really a challenge to get through she finally settles down and then yep and then it's over but um my husband bought me a thing called a flirt pole it's got this like dangly thing on a string and it allows me to play with her without her getting close to me and is like the best thing ever i can take her out in the yard and she can just like chase that thing around um you know, it's not really meant for puppies. You're not supposed to have them really jump and get crazy, but I, I just have her kind of like chase it around and distract her. And it's like the only thing that's really saved me. But yeah, beyond that though, she is sweet. And I can tell that many, many moments of who she's going to become here as an adult dog are gonna, sh are gonna shine through. And she's definitely loves to cuddle and she's sweet. But that's it. I just wanted to say that because I'm not going to probably talk about her too much in my videos, you know, little snippets of her here and there. But this one was just, like I said, heavy, heavy on the puppy because it's really all my life is right now. And as she gets older, that's going to, you know, become less and less. She's going to require less and less of my attention. But, you know, she is an Aussie, so she's not ever going to not require my attention. We're going to do lots of walks and hikes and lots of activity. And I think the reason why she's been such a challenging puppy is because of her breed. I've never had a herding dog before. So, you know, like labs I've had where you can just go play fetch with them. And they just, for hours and hours, will just bring the ball back to you. And they, they don't ever want to kind of attack you. But she doesn't really know how to play fetch. I just throw her the ball. She runs across the yard to get it. And then she gets this look in her eye. And she bends down and she stalks. And she makes eye contact with me. And I know that that means, I'm coming to get you, Mom. You better run. So, yeah. It's, it's not, <laughs> it's, there's nothing to really do to get the activity out of her when I'm the one she wants to herd. So yeah, we've got some work to do with that, but she is just so cute though. So, all right, on that note, happy leap day. We got that extra day in February and I'm happy it's warm today. It's in its sixties. The spring is just around the corner and I am so excited so we'll see if I have a March vlog or not. Um, or you may not even see this till the end of March because I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, edit this, be able to edit it. But anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me. If you stuck with me till the end, you probably did only if you were in, uh, you know, if you're a dog person. Otherwise, I probably lost you a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now. I will see you in March, hopefully the end of March, with an update. And I hope you all are having a happy, stitchy month. And I'll catch you when I catch you. All right, bye for now. I have discovered that Mary loves ice. And when her ice, when her water bowl gets ice in it, Mary, you like that? You want to go eat that? Yeah, that'll give you something to chew on for a while.